Problem three, we have the cube root of negative 27, x to the ninth, y to the 12. So we're gonna split these up again. This is going to become cube root of negative 27. Then we're gonna have the cube root of x to the ninth. And then we're gonna have the cube root of y to the 12th. Now we're going to simplify each of these. So the cube root of negative 27 I know you're taught to think that you can't take the square root of a negative, which is true, but this isn't a square root. This is a cube root, which means it's being multiplied three times here. So it's not even numbers. So when you think about this, this is three times. This is a negative three times a negative three, which would give you that positive nine, but then if we multiply it again by another negative, that would give us a negative 27 there. So this would be a negative three for my cube root of negative 27. Cube root of x to the ninth, that would be x to the nine over three, and then y to the 12 over three. And then we would simplify each of these. So this would be a negative three, x nine divided by three would give me three, 12 divided by three would give me four.